Hey everyone, Doug Matuzak, Boa Basement. I'm my buddy John Rieger here from Pro Herps. Is that right? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, good. Uh, wait a minute, eight Pro Exotics, they're not existed. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just went through uh, my triple het litters. Uh, the true triple het litters, these animals are het 100% het for sharp strain albino, 100% het for VPIT plus albino, 100% het for anatheristic, as well as in some cases the parents either had hypo or motley or both as well on them. So we're dealing with three recesses and two uh, co-dominant genes in these breedings. And this, this year was the best year ever so far. But what we're showing you here to start off because uh, have never updated this guy but what he is he's a T plus VPI T plus sharp strain albino combination um, years ago they claimed that it was attempted and it, it just was never gonna work well I don't believe in what most people in the world of BOA say anyways that's why I'm where I'm at in this situation uh, but uh, I'm going to let John point out some of the highlights. Uh, when this, this, uh, I will attach a video or a link to a video of this guy when he was a baby. He, uh, the, the, the coloration changed and uh, there was a dramatic change to his eyes. And we're, we're thinking that that might happen with every combination with the VPI T Plus and Sharp Strain, which could be really interesting for combinations in the future. Go ahead, John. Point seven out. Well, first off, you can see the eyes of this snake. They're almost white. Now, they didn't start off white. They started off with a very pale red coloration, not like a sun glow, and turned white. Now, we kind of considered this to be a weird looking sharp sun glow at first, but you can also see the saddles, the big white dots on the saddles. It's not typical for my typical hypo boa but his tail almost looks like a sun glow but again it is not yeah void of hypo so we got lucky <laughs> I did <Yeah. laughs> I'm the one doing all the damn work down here I got lucky guessing what it was. Yes, yeah, Don, Don did help. Uh, we had a question mark on it for a while, for many, many months, and then one day it's like, ah, uh, this thing is definitely not just a strange looking sharp strain anymore. This is definitely what we thought it was, and that's the combination of both animals. And this was from two years ago, and we got, we got a lot more examples from this season's offspring from the same triple head breedings to, the, to add to this now. Uh, T plus sharp strain uh, albino combination. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm kicking around calling this the, the fusion, the fusion of both T neg and T plus. And uh, again, this was an animal that uh, people claimed, and it was a big name back in the day. That claimed, uh, hint hint, uh, she was involved in the VPI project. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it never worked. So, well, here it is. It worked. And this, this guy is uh, hopefully going to be a breeder this upcoming season. We're going to start smashing some serious color into this. Try and make Sun Dream, Sun Dream uh, fusions and other stuff like that. So, But there's a two-year-old. Now we're going to get to showing you the 2018 babies. All right, guys. This is uh, one of the 2018 babies from the Triple Head Project again. And we believe that this is a VPIT plus sharp strain albino hypo or uh, fusion sun glow or T plus sharp strain sun glow, whatever I'm going to end up calling these things down the road. So we're going to keep an eye on this one to, you know, because it may or may not have the hypo in it, but, you know, we're dealing with a bunch of worlds first. So. We have no idea what the myriad of different appearances one combination can come out and look like, but it's strange, and John will take it from here. Yeah, this one has a very deep coloration, almost dark, so that's what's making us kind of question whether it's going to be a sun glow or just a double T pause T neg. But it's got a really nice stripe on the tail, which, you know, happens a lot. 
especially with orange tail hypos. So we're pretty sure that's what it's going to end up being. And who knows, it could be uh, some other genes coming through as well. Just showing off. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, it could be 100% head anery, as John had mentioned. I don't know. I mean, there's no signs that Motley should be in there, but who's to say the Motley didn't get destroyed? But yeah. uh, wait a minute, we have other we have other animals to show them to show that the Motley could, does come through in this combination. So what am I saying? Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, here we are at the next example of a T. VPI T plus sharp strain T neg combination. This one has the Motley on it. And uh, I'm just going to let John take it from here and explain what we're looking at. This one came out crazy different. Without seeing the tail, you'd almost think this would just be a sharp snow. Then you get down to the tail, a lot of orange colorations coming in, very pale, a lot like the first VPI sharp double recessive animal we've seen. Very light colored eye. Hopefully this one will color up a lot like the original male you saw at the beginning of the video. I hope so since we haven't even found their first <laughs> meal yet. You know? yeah. It's got a very good chance. But you'll, you'll, you guys will see in a little bit what happens with one more gene added to this combination. Neat things start to happen. Not that this isn't neat already. Remember guys, all pure BCI here. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, this is the next fusion bow or VPI T plus T neg sharp strain combination. This one uh, we believe is a VPI T plus sharp strain T neg hypo motley or the T plus sharp sun glow motley or a Fusion Sunglow Motley. I haven't decided yet, but <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of kind of liking that fusion thing. Since again, yeah. these animals were never supposed to exist, according to some of the greatest minds in the world of boa breeding. Obviously, they didn't ask me. <laughs> you can really see the hypo coming out in this one. It's just big square saddles, nothing really connecting. Very long stripe on the tail, and again that very pale coloration. And very very pale eye this one should be a sweet one to watch grow I think they're all gonna be sweet <laughs> we're gonna be watching an awful lot of them grow 